All right, folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, and we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Pacific Bay, Jazz Town. Case number 23, the second to last one of the area, the Eye of the Storm. Let's head on to chapter number two. Oh, dear me, Ace, we have to find Peggy's killer, but the storm is almost upon us. What can we do? Ace, I found the weather machine. I know where the signal comes from. We can stop the storm. What? You found the weather controlling machine, Hannah? Quick, tell us, Ace, where it is. The machine is in an old bunker from the 50s on the outskirts of Jazz Town. I'll show you the way, Ace. Just follow me. Huh. Oh, that's a sick picture. The derelict bunker. Cool. Ooh, Einstein up here. Oh, here's the machine. The rotating cylinder. Alright, uh, anyways, we got torn flyers up here. Uh, we got magazine, open chest. Nope. There's the open chest. And we have a robot and a miner's cap. There we go. Alrighty then. You found the weather machine, Ace. You did it. I knew you would. But I can't find the button to turn off Hurricane Zelda anywhere. Can you see it, Hannah? I'm afraid that turning it off wouldn't stop the storm anyway. We need to change the nature of the signal for it to destroy Hurricane Zelda. But for that, we need to find the remote controlling this machine. The killer is controlling the storm from a distance, and this remote is, only the, is the only thing that can stop it. I better go back to the lab to keep working on that, Ace. Be careful. You ain't got long before the storm hits. Well, there must be clues in here to lead us to the remote. You're right. We know Peggy's killer created the storm, so they must have touched that rotating cylinder. And there's also that torn paper, but I know you'll restore it in no time. You think there's something valuable in that old survival kit? Now let's look through it. Woo! Got a couple of fun things to look at. Okay. <laughs> Bless me. Don't scare people, help them. Huh. Great job restoring that flyer, Ace. There's Peggy on it, saying that she that the storm was man made. She really wanted people to learn the truth. And you're right, someone wrote a message on it. Don't scare people, help them. Susanna Towers. You're right, Ace. We better call on Hannah so we can tell us who the Susanna Towers is. Hey, Hannah, can you look up Su a certain Susanna Towers for Ace, please? Give me a second. Uh, Susanna Towers is one of the rescue workers working in Jazz Town right now. You'll probably find her in the flooded areas. Well, thank you, Hannah. You're right. We have to talk to Susanna Towers. Interesting. A new suspect comes forth. Alright. I just want to get some of these. I just want to get the time done. That way I can kind of just chillax for a little bit. Oh, a diary. Did y'all find this diary in that survival kit, Ace? Diary reads, I cannot le let Peggy prove someone was writing about Peggy. The bookmark ribbon has gotten the word Rose on it. Do you think this diary could belong to Rose Field? The environmentalist we talked to earlier. I agree. We need to know what she wrote about Peggy, but the second page has been torn. Do you think you can retrieve what was written, Ace? Psh. I'm awesome. Easily I can figure this out. Cannot Peggy let Peggy prove the weather can be controlled. Yeah, figures. Great, you managed to retrieve the last entry in Rose's diary. Let's see. The entry re reads, I cannot let Peggy prove the weather can be controlled. Why wouldn't Rose want Peggy to prove Hurricane Zelda was natural? This seems counterproductive. I agree, let's go talk to her. It's because she wants to link it to global warming and make it an ecologist-like thing. I don't know. Something silly, but, you know, whatevs. All right, let's figure out what the heck this stuff is. Might be like a band-aid, because what's-her-name has a band-aid? What about those pieces you found on the rotating cylinder, are, Ace? Well, since we know the killer must have touched the machine to set off the storm, we better send this sample to the lab. Okay, better question is, is this the 15-hour one, or is this going to be the 9-hour one? 
Oh, 12 hours. Okay. What's up, Susanna? Don't you cry for me. What are you doing here, Commissioner Ace? The storm is about to hit. Here, take some of my tea to warm up your bones. We've come to talk to you about Peggy Pascal's murder, Susanna. Commissioner Ace found your note. You seem to be quite angry that she didn't care about helping people. Well, Peggy was a piece of work. She was way over her head in her storm chasing stuff. I wanted to use her knowledge of storms to be more efficient in the evacuation, but she said she didn't have the time. What can be more important than helping people? You're a cop, Commissioner Ace. You understand, but Peggy didn't care. Now, I'm sorry, but I have to keep moving. Someone might still be in help, in need of help. All right. I don't think she could be it. I think she's off my list automatically, but we'll see. Rose, Commissioner Ace found your diary. Why didn't you want Peggy to prove that Hurricane Zelda was man-made? Isn't it obvious? You don't understand the implications of a weather controlling being public knowledge. Can you imagine? Hachoo! Sorry, but the public must never know that the weather can be controlled. Can you imagine if the polluting industries knew about this machine? They would use the machine to prove that climate change doesn't exist. That it's just a malfunctioning machine. That climate change isn't their fault. Climate change is an important matter. We can't risk it being ridiculed because of someone's experiment. I will do anything for my fight. But first, I need some tea to nurse this cold. Hachoo! See? I sneezed earlier. I must have the flu. I could easily be the killer. That's a little scary. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is Pitch Against 88. Au revoir. All right, folks. Pitch Against 88, and we're back. Let's speed this up real quick. Hey, still investigating, Ace? What better give you the news fast before the storm blows the lab away? Pieces you collected from the rotating cylinder are pieces of plastic. Not only that, but this plastic was treated by hydro... Hydrophobic? Before you ask, Amy, it means it repels water. So I looked a little bit more closely into the molecular composition, I can tell you that the pieces of plastic come from a raincoat. Those fibers weren't enough to determine the color, but I can guarantee your killer is wearing a raincoat. There's a storm. Of course somebody's wearing a raincoat. Oh, Ace, what do you think we should do? Hannah said we had to find the weather machine's remote to configure the storm. But where could it be? Think the remote might be in the crime scene? All right, let's go there and give it our all. Let's go for clipboard, pigeon, torn picture, insurance paper, a light bulb, uh, and a drill. So no remote control, it's unfortunate. We did get to find a couple things. Oh, thank you, buddy. Always love experience, man. You can give me as much experience as you can. Oh dear, the wind's even stronger than before. We better act fast before the storm blows all the evidence away. Hold on tight to that torn photograph. And what about this insurance policy? It's worth seven hundred thousand dollars. You're right. We have to find out who, to who it belongs to, to. Can you decipher the client ID? The rain got to it. Okay, whoever that seven hundred thousand dollars is is probably the murderer. Just what I'm thinking. Could be wrong though. Been known to be wrong before, like in the last case, but it's probably an N. Yep, Q. It's a 7. Uh, that's probably an 8. There we go, perfect. Sharp as attack. Great job finding the account number for that house insurance, Ace. Now that we have the client idea, Hannah can find out who insured their house for such a sum. Oh, I bet you that expensive a house, it's probably Veronica. Just because I don't think there's any other houses in, in Jazz Town that would be caught that would cost that much. Like uncle, like niece. Great job restoring that photograph, Ace. Shows Peggy Pascal as a little girl, and you're right. I recognize her hair anywhere. The note on the photo says, like uncle, like niece, so the person next to Peggy is her uncle. You're right, we should find this man to t tell him that his niece is dead. I just hope he's in town. 
Oh, poor guy. Hey, what can I do for you, Commissioner Ace? Want to take a closer look at dear old Zelda? Here, grab some tea. Enjoy the show. Mr. Pascal, you may not know it, but your niece died. I'm so sorry. Oh, I knew about that. But it's part of the job, you know. Being a storm chaser is dangerous. Peggy knew what she was getting into. We usually don't get murdered, but there's a high mortality rate when you deal with storms. I'm surprised at how well you're taking the news of your niece's death, Mr. Pascal. Well, to be honest, I was in town for Hurricane Zelda, not for Peggy. We, um, didn't keep in touch lately. Still, Peggy was a nice kid. I used to take her with me. She was never as happy as when she was next to a tornado. Don't believe her death leaves me cold. Eh, I don't think it's him. I honestly don't. I think, so. think he's a relatively nice guy. Anyways, guys, I gotta wait 12 hours. If you guys keep liking and commenting, I'll probably throw it out a little bit quicker. See you guys all in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, and we are back. Let's figure out where this note is. It must have been the go the gods that sent you this insurance paper ace. The account number belongs to Veronica Blade. I looked into the, into the account's history and I learned that Veronica tried to cash her insurance money in right after Hurricane Ives, claiming it caused considerable damages to her house. Thing is, the demand was denied. One of the experts mandated by the insurance company proved that the damages on Veronica's house were not caused by the hurricane. And do you know who this expert was? Peggy Pascal. She worked there for a few months before dropping everything to become a storm chaser. Huh. Peggy kept Veronica from cashing in her insurance money? Oh, she must have been mad. And you're right, Ace. We have to talk to Veronica. Oh, man. That could maybe be why Frank's not in on this case. But that's definitely a reason. You again. Please, Commissioner Ace, just accept a cup of tea and be gone. My patience only goes so far. We know about the insurance, Veronica. Commissioner Ace found out that you tried to cash it in and that Peggy prevented you from doing it. That little hack. What does a kid like her know about a hurricane? Nothing. When I said my house was ripped to shreds by Hurricane Ives, I meant it. But that child fed her lies to the insurance company, saying that the Hurricane Ives was far, too far from my house to have caused the damage. She lied. That little... Achoo! Sorry, Commissioner Ace. I kind of, kind of carried away. It's just when Peggy came by to ask me to leave the house, like nothing had happened between us, I got so mad. My house is coming to pieces. I have no money to fix it and no money to leave. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I wonder if you're the one that threw up the uh, hurricane. Ugh. I can feel the wind shaking the walls of the station. Yeah, you're right, Ace. That's why we shouldn't wait to recap. The big news is that you finally found the weather machine. I still can't believe that such a machine exists, but at least we found it. But Hannah said that we needed to find a remote to stop it, and this remote is in the hands of Peggy's killer. We met Rose Fields again, who was convinced that if the weather controlling machine becomes common knowledge, no one will believe climate change is real. And yeah, you're right, Ace. There's also this insurance con that Veronica tried to pull on her house, but which Peggy thwarted. What? Ah! Oh, snaps! Hurricane is there. Well, anyways, guys, see you guys in the next video. This is Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.